The laws of nature are fundamental. That's bedrock. And the assumption of science is that these laws are the same here as they are in a distant galaxy. The other assumption is that these have been pretty much constant over time. Although some theorists now begin to question whether the laws of nature are indeed constant. The only way that we can test this is to observe over time. And you, as an observational cosmologist, can look back over time because as you look in the universe, you look backwards. When you do that, what do you see and what do you think that your observational work can tell us about the laws of nature? Well, the continual interplay between applying our fundamental theories to what we see and then having what we see come back and perhaps even modify our fundamental theories. So there may be, and you know, so for example, Newton's laws hold up over in the solar system. But when you get out to greater distances, you need Einstein's theory of relativity. It's not that Newton was wrong. It's that in certain applications, um, if you have something massive, then, then Newton's laws will not apply. Um, and so we, we begin with an assumption, say the fundamental laws are the same, and then we probe, how long will that hold up? And I don't think anybody would hold necessarily the idea that they have to hold up. Maybe they do change over time. The difficulty is, of course, those measurements are difficult to make. But we have, in principle, a way of looking back as cosmologists. As we look back in the universe, we're seeing the universe at a different time. And we can say, we can ask the question, are the fundamental laws the same? Um, one of the ways that we can do that, for example, is to look at distant objects, for example, quasars. These are very active, bright parts, central regions of galaxies. And we can look at the spectral lines from intervening material along the line of sight to the quasar. And we can say, OK, are the transitions in the atoms that we see in, in, in that material, um, do they behave the same? As, you know, as a function of time, as we look back in time. Uh, there's actually an interesting, um, so, so that, for example, might probe the question of whether or not the electromagnetic, the forces that govern electromagnetic relations um, are the same over time. Um, there was a natural reactor, in fact, in, uh, in West Africa, Oklo, um, two billion years ago. Water dripped into rocks and, and set off a natural uh, nuclear reaction. So there are actually experiments that let you say, okay, does this fine structure constant, this um, constant of nature that governs electromagnetic interactions, does that change over time? Now again, these are difficult experiments because you have to know what were the conditions two billion years ago compared to now. And, and so, so the, the limits that you can place at the current time uh, whether or not there have been changes in these laws are constrained. The limits are, um, sorry, I'm searching for a word. That, um, uh, at the current time, the limits we can place suggest that uh, there haven't been changes in the, in the fundamental laws of nature. But as we refine those types of measurements, as we look back in the distant universe and make observations of distant quasars, those uh, measurements will get more and more precise. We'll be able to put more and more stringent limits on um, addressing these questions. Do the fundamental constants change with time? So it's, it is a question that can be addressed empirically, and, and we can do that in astronomy because we can look back in time. I would think this is one of the more important questions to ask because it again deals with the fundamental structure of reality. It, it, it deals with the fundamental structure of reality, how the physical law, you know, do they apply in different areas of the universe? Will they change under certain conditions? Um, the current theories that suggest that they change can be tested because if they don't, they'll rule out the theory. But at the current time, we just don't have enough precision to do that um, at the level we need to. Are you a Closer to Truth member? Register for free to get early access to full broadcast episodes. Join live interviews with the world's top thinkers and create custom video playlists. Visit closertotruth.com and click the register button. I hope you'll join our Closer to Truth community.